Science 5, Quarter 2, Week 1 to Week 2, Milk Base. Let's learn about Human Reproductive System. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Prel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lessons in Science 5, we will discuss about human reproductive system. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Describe the parts of the reproductive system and their functions. This lesson will help you become aware of your role. It targets to describe the parts of the reproductive system and find out their functions. Having knowledge about the reproductive system will give you more sense of responsibility of taking care of yourself. To begin with our lesson, we will do this activity. Encircle the appropriate word and describe the role of your father and mother in the family. Face the picture of your mother or draw a mother figure and paste it here. For example, this picture. My mother is female. She is my first teacher, friend, and my inspiration. She is the most responsible person because she cooks before going to work. She loves us unconditionally and provides all our needs. She is beautiful, smart, and strong woman. Face picture of your father. My father is male. He is the one who maintains strict discipline among the family members and the one who protects us. He provides our needs. He is very responsible and very supportive. He is my hero and guide in my life. Males and females have unique reproductive system to perform reproduction. Reproduction is a process in which organisms produce new organisms to avoid species extinction. In humans, sexual reproduction happens, meaning the process needs male and female parent. Therefore, it is important to study our reproductive system for us to be aware and responsible on how to take good care of it. And now, let us do our first activity, Learning Task 1. Study the two pictures below. Identify if it is a male or female reproductive system. First picture. What is this? Very good! It is a male reproductive system. Second picture. What is this? Very good! It is a female reproductive system. What is the male reproductive organ? Very good! The male reproductive organ is called testis or testes. What about the primary reproductive organ in female? Very good! It is called ovary or ovaries. And now let's move to learning task 2. Identify the parts of a male reproductive organ based on the jumbled letters. You can also choose the word from the box. Before choosing the word, encircle all the parts of male and female reproductive system. Choose the words inside the box. This picture is the front view of a male reproductive system. Let us now answer. Number 1. This is a vas deferens. Number 2. This part is prostrate glands. Number 3. This is urethra. Number 4. This part is epididymis. Number 5. This is penis. 
Number six. This is ureter. Number seven. This is seminal vesicle. Number eight. This part is erectile tissue. Number nine. This is scrotum. Number 10. This part is testis. And this part is called bladder. Next, this picture is a front view of a female reproductive system. Arrange the jumbled letters from number 11 to 17. Number 11. This is uterus. Number 12. This is endometrium. Number 13. This is fimbrae. Number 14. This is vagina. Number 15. This is ovary. Number 16. This is cervix. And number 17. This is Oviduck. And now, let us study the parts of the male reproductive organ. The male reproductive system is composed of different organs working together to perform reproduction. The testes, plural testes, as the primary organ is tasked to make sperm cell that is used to reproduce new organism. Epididymis is the site for maturation of the sperm cell to develop swimming ability. The vas deferens is a long tube that connects the testes and the prostate gland for the pathway of the sperm during ejaculation. Ejaculation is the process of releasing sperm out of the system. Seminal vesicle is the organ responsible for the secretion of fluids containing fructose, mucus, and prostaglandins. Prostate gland is the reason of the smell of the semen which is due to alkaline fluid that neutralizes vaginal acids. Urethra is the part of the system that conducts semen or sperm with other fluids to go outside the body through the penis. Penis has erectile tissues that are used during mating or sex. And now, let us do learning task 3. Fill in the boxes of the flowchart with correct word showing how the semen is released from the male reproductive system. Start here. The first part is testis. Next to it is epididymis. Next is vas deferens. Next is seminal vesicle. Next is prostate gland. And the last one is urethra. Based on what you have read, connect the words that are strongly related to each other through a line. Number 1. Prostate gland is connected to alkaline fluid. Number two, testis is connected to sperm. Number three, seminal vesicle is connected to mucus. Number four, vas deferens is connected to tube. Number five, urethra is connected to penis. And number six, epididymis is connected to storage. And now, let us study the parts of the female reproductive organ. The female reproductive organ is primarily responsible for the production, maintenance, implantation, and elimination of egg cells. The ovary is where the egg cells, oocytes, get matured and is released. Fimbrae sweeps the matured eggs to the fallopian tube or oviduct. 
The egg goes to the uterus wherein eggs may be either fertilized in the presence of sperm cell or eliminated by means of menstruation. During implantation, the part called endometrium aligning in the uterus thickens to do the process. Vagina is the passage going to the uterus. It is where penis is inserted and menstrual blood goes out. And now, let us do learning task 4. Fill in the boxes of flowchart with correct word. The part of the female reproductive system showing how egg matures and being fertilized in the presence of sperm cell or goes out of the body in the form of blood. Start here. The first part is the ovary. Next to it is the fimbrae. Next is fallopian tube. Next is uterus. And then last is vagina. Based on what you have read on parts of female reproductive system, connect the words that are strongly related by connecting them by a line. Number 1. Vagina is connected to penis insertion. Number 2. Uterus is connected to egg development. Number 3. Endometrium is connected to lining for egg implantation. Number 4. Fimbrae is connected to sweeping the eggs. And number 5. Fallopian tube is connected to path towards uterus. For learning task 5, write MR if the given word is a part of the male reproductive system. Otherwise, write FR. In case the part can be found in both system, write both. Number 1. Urethra is MR, male reproductive. Number 2. Uterus is FR, female reproductive. Number 3. Erectile tissue is MR, male reproductive. Number 4. Ovary is FR, female reproductive. Number 5. Vas deferens is MR, male reproductive. Number 6. Ephedidymis is MR, male reproductive. Number 7. Endometrium is FR, female reproductive. Number 8. Ureter is both, both male and female reproductive. Number 9. Scrotum is MR, male reproductive. Number 10. Uterus is FR, female reproductive. Number 11. Penis is MR, male reproductive. Number 12. Cervix is FR, female reproductive. Number 13. Testis is MR, male reproductive. Number 14. Oviduct is FR, female reproductive. Number 15. Vagina is FR, female reproductive. Number 16. Prostate gland is MR, male reproductive. Number 17. Seminal vesicle is MR, male reproductive. Number 18. Fimbrae is FR, female reproductive. Number 19. Urinary bladder is both. Both male and female reproductive. And number 20, ureter is both, both male and female reproductive. For learning task 6, label the parts of the male and female reproductive system. This picture is the side view of a male reproductive system. Number 1, this part is urinary bladder. 
Number two, this part is urethra. Number three, this part is penis. Number four, this part is scrotum. Number five, this part is erectile tissue. Number six, this part is seminal vesicle. Number seven, this part is prostrate gland. Number eight, this part is vas deferens. And number nine, this part is testis. This picture is the side view of a female reproductive system. Number 10, this part is fallopian tube. Number 11, this part is uterus. Number 12, this part is bladder. Number 13, this part is urethra. Number 14, this part is fimbrae. Number 15, this part is ovary. Number 16, this part is endometrium. And number 17, this part is vagina or canal. And now, let's do learning task 7. Both males and females have roles in the community. These roles are observable in your parents, especially in your father and your mother. Complete the boxes below to describe the roles of your parents in your family. For example, my answer is, My father's role in the family, male. My father is the head of the family. He is the one who is responsible for the well-being of the family. He is the one who provides the love and support that the family needs. He is our protector. He guides us very well. Next, my mother's role in the family, female. My example is, my mother is the light of the family. She is the one who is responsible for our everyday living. She is the one who provides the love, care, and support that the family needs. She is our teacher, guidance, and shield in times of danger. What do you think is the importance of knowing your sexuality? My answer is, We should know about our body and know the words for the different body parts. We must thank God for giving us complete body parts that we can able to do our everyday living. Remember, Reproduction is a process in which organisms produce new organisms to avoid species extinction. The male reproductive system is composed of different organs working together to perform reproduction, while the female reproductive organ is primarily responsible for the production, maintenance, implantation, and elimination of egg cells. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!